very slowly. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to count uh, fire trucks tonight. <laughs> You help me count fire trucks. I'm supposed to, I want to keep track of how many there are, okay? I'm sure I'm going to run out of fingers. Fire. You do, please. <laughs> yeah. You think? Yeah, they're yeah. in his view. All right, Tim. Uh, just let me hear a couple of seconds of it and fade it out and bring it to me. Well, good evening and welcome to downtown Florida. The 2018 Florida Chamber of Commerce Halloween Parade is now underway. Randy Poole here with Brenda Miller. We appreciate you spending your evening with us on uh, Mix FM. Also happy to provide the audio for the broadcast on Wabash Catch TV. That's right, and you can watch that too. You can. If you don't have Wabash, you can even see it on YouTube. Exactly. Just search Wabash Catch TV, and I think you can even see it live. Leading the way here, the Florida Police Department. Or Police Chief John Nicholson and Clay County Sheriff Andy Myers. Looks like he has him someone there in the front seat riding along. I think along. so, yeah. yeah. Had a color guard here from the American Legions, BFW. And then we have the flag, the huge American flag provided by the uh, Clay County Elks Club. This is so neat, it, it truly is. And I did see John Baylor was uh, on Facebook asking for some volunteers uh, to help carry this flag. And looks, looks like, like it they worked. have plenty, yep. exactly. Takes a lot of people. It does. Huge flag, very impressive. Mm -hmm. Like the way they're all in their white gloves as they carry it down the street. And they will pause right in front of us. We have one of the best seats. Yes, we do. Such an awesome thing. I don't know if you can hear that, but there is an applause mm -hmm. too. That, of course, followed now by the uh, DAV van, the Disabled American Veterans van. They do a super service for they the sure veterans. They sure do. How appropriate to, yeah. uh, to follow the flag there. And here is our parade marshal tonight, Mike Lamb, who recently retired as the assistant ESDA coordinator and reserve police chief. No one any finer. <laughs> I don't know of anyone that deserves it more than Mike. I don't either. He First had 45 years of service uh, with ESDA. 45 years serving from 1973 until his recent retirement. He's wow. been involved in all those Halloween parades, all those years. and Everything in between. Think the world of Mike, yeah. So do I. Yeah. My wife Deb in there with him. Yep. Oh, we have the old fire truck out. Yep. All right. <laughs> Kim Hamilton. Like his wife and granddaughter on the side yeah. of it. That's awesome. <laughs> Flora Fire Department here, one of their newer trucks. This is a little more modern than that first one. Just a little bit. Yeah. And then we have the uh, aerial truck too. Lori and I are keeping track of how many fire trucks okay. there are. 
Hey, you discussed that up at Louisville today. That's right. We're up to three okay. right now. <laughs> Here comes one of the harder Stanford tanker trucks. And as I mentioned up in Louisville today, harder Stanford coming up with a new about $350,000 truck wow. that uh, be rolling out here in about February. What sure, great, we'll see that in the parade next what year. What a great service it yep. is. And another one of the harder Stanford trucks. It's kind of hard to tell the color. That's black. Okay, I thought so, but wasn't positive. Yep. Have their rescue truck. And then they have their six by six too that they use to fight fires with. Now do you count this as a fire the, uh, truck? Does this count as a fire? Truck. Yeah, it does because it's a, they use it to fight. Okay, then yeah. it does count. Yeah. Okay. They fight a lot of brush fires with that. Okay. It should be Clay County Esda. Can't see. You can't see. <laughs> I know exactly the problem. I can't see who's inside of them for the lights. These are all the Ezda trucks. Rescue goes with fire, so they're counting. Okay. Another Ezra rescue truck. And we have walkers handing out candy. Yeah. Okay, the one that I talked about awesome. today. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Uh, now I see the light on the front. That's a pretty neat truck. By the way, we're up to 10. All right. This would be the Xenia Fire Protection District. This is there. wonder why they went to white. I think that would be a good question. You're the Xenia-ite. Maybe you need to find that out. I'm going to be over there Halloween night. All right, there you go. I will ask and yeah. find out. That one's white. Then they've got the yellow, and then they've got the white brush truck. Okay. So all the new ones all this is Zinia, yeah? are white. I will ask that question. I'm guessing you don't have to paint them. You just add the stripes. <laughs> Could be. Bedford Township, Sisney Fire Department here. I don't know that I recall them being here before. I don't either. That's kind of neat. Followed by North Clay Fire Protection District. Yeah. Got their brush truck, their rescue truck. And here comes Clay City. Oh, we got the old Clay City truck. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I like the siren. I think uh -huh. best. <laughs> and here's the last fire truck belonging to the Clay City Fire Protection District. Nineteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Oh, she's counting that one. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
We count the hospital. Ambulance. That's 20. All right. Pretty impressive. Very impressive. Those lights sure are bright. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> wow. I think that's those new LED things. Goodness well, gracious. This one's that the ambulance is blinding. Wow. Well, that's how people on the roads can, can see you, <laughs> you know? Here is the citizen of the year, Ron Ayers. Congratulations to Ron. Very well deserved. Yes, indeed. Ron spends a lot of time at the floor depot, <laughs> keeping it ship shape. Yes, he does. Coming into view now is our first float of the evening. I believe it's Flora Bank and Trust, established in 1978. Celebrating their 40th anniversary. They are the business of the year for the Flora Chamber of Commerce. They have several things on this float representing 1978, including Greece, Space Invaders, Chips, Charlie's Angels, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Happy Days, The Love Boat, Garfield. The thing I like the most is gasoline was 63 cents a gallon. You know? I remember when it went over 50 cents and everybody throwing a fit. I remember when it was under that. You could you could go to Julian's, get a hamburger, get gas, and ride around all night. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Clay County Farm Bureau young leaders from our fields to your tables. Have you thanked a farmer today? They got it all lit up here tonight. It looks wonderful. Ooh. Got a little tractor on there. I love their table with their turkey and their big silverware they've yep. got serving. Yep. Very, very active group. Yes, they are. And they're very active uh, during the Clay County Fair. Yes, they are. And you know, it is Halloween. And I think tonight may be the last night after the parade for the Xenia Haunted Trail. That it is. $5. Freddy. Make your way to the Xenia Community Center. You take a hayride back to the trail and away you go. Freddy Krueger with his claws and claws on the front of that tractor. Yeah. Now, they look scary. They do. I'd rather be in one than go through one. <laughs> yeah, we had this discussion before. I totally agree. There's your... Ooh, that, ooh that's that one that yeah. gave me some candy today. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at the little guy. Oh, he's got an axe. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> it's like a meat cleaver. <laughs> right. First band of the night is the Flora 5th grade band. I was say, if I'm not mistaken, this will be their second parade. They marched at Louisville this afternoon, and then it's this one tonight. You know, That's what right. they've picked up there, they've picked up since the start of school. That's amazing. It is amazing. Yeah. Have a, one of the older trucks here. It's yeah. so smooth, so quiet, you can't even hear it. I know. I know it's Bob Williams's, but I start trying to see if I could figure out what uh, what year it is. Yeah, but it doesn't tell me on here. Or at least I thought it was. Hmm. I do have a list here if I can learn how to read it. I'm gonna I want to say keep the thanks list. to the chamber for that. I'll let you keep the list there. Yep. Got our first little group of uh, Cub Scouts. Yep. Is this your pack? If it, nope. Uh, yeah. 283. 283. Cup Scout Pack 283. Yeah, that was mine. Oh, they've all got, they got helmets on? They're all dressed up. Are they? What are they? I don't know. See, I don't know some of the new characters. No, I don't, I don't either. 
they're having a good time. I see Dr. Hackney yeah, uh, pulling Hackney one pulling, in I, the probably car. Probably pulling his son. Yeah. That's right. He <laughs> can probably tell us what character that is. Uh -huh. Oh, there's more like that. Yes. It's something to do with cars. I would say so. Yeah. Oh, and there's Sarah. Racing happening. to well, adventure. It all ties together. Go. See, they're pulling their little race cars, okay. got their helmets on, they're race drivers, and they're racing to adventure. Now it all makes sense. There we go. Like we mentioned, uh, if you're listening to us on the radio, we love that. We but do. if you want to see it, you can actually go over to a live feed on YouTube. Just go to YouTube and search Wabash Catch TV, and boom, there we'll be. You can also see the Louisville parade from earlier today. That's right. Yeah. Or you can watch it later. Or you can, yeah, whatever you want to do. Play or you can also watch it on Wabash Cable if you That's know that. right. Play City Banking Company, Flora Banking Company, where the hometown banks also, Louisville, Fairfield, yep. four locations. Yep. They have it covered, that all they of do. them. I actually see a Fairfield one in there carrying a sign. A big, t well, they're, yeah. they're twirling their signs. I can't <laughs> read them. Let my hometown bank be cause. And they've yeah. got why. There's her. President driving. Herb driving a truck. They yeah. greet you with a personal hello and a smile. They care outside of just your banking issues. They have great accounts for seniors and they make I you still feel like, like the one families. that says the girls at the Florida branch are the bomb. Must <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> be one of the Florida girls holding that. Yeah, one. exactly. That's good. <laughs> Uh, I like the way they got the pictures of the older banks oh, you know, I know. down through there and then the way they've built it, up through the years. They've so. recently remodeled at Clay, Clay City. Clay City, yes, they have. First of our political floats this evening, Clay County Central Democrat Committee. Yeah, indeed. I believe Trudy Stanford is driving. She yep. is running for county board, yep. and uh, Cynthia Given is running for state representative, and she's walking behind. Mm -hmm. And uh, Wednesday on R&B, we true. will actually have both of the state representative candidates. Darren Bailey and Cynthia Given. We'll have them both on there giving their views. We'll also have the Flora Academic Foundation. You know, we've got Radiothon next week, too. We do. Busy it's, time right now. It is. Bloom Baptist Church in Flora. If you don't know Jesus, you'll be toasted. And that's a toaster. With the devil on it. With the devil <laughs> on the piece of toast in it. I like that. Bloom Baptist Church. I can't think of Bloom Baptist Church without thinking about Don Lusk. Cheyenne Gregory, Miss uh, Clay County Fair Queen, in her beautiful red convertible, and she has a coat on the seat. Yeah, I don't blame good her. Good for her. Now, Landry's in the dune buggy tonight. Landry is in the dune buggy. Yep. Where she was at today. <laughs> Somebody, Chrissy, you need to tell us where your daughter was today. Maybe she was in the band or something. I don't know. 2018 Land Junior Miss Clay County Fair Queen, Landry Irwin. It is really, really cool teal, turquoise, dune buggy. It's, it's Here's sharp. Here's Mom Chrissy. Yeah, it's sharp. It is neat. And Kenley Souter, 2018 Little Miss Clay County Fair Queen. Ah, oh, we got yeah. Dad driving tonight. Yeah. Mom's walking. Yeah. Jeep Rubicon. And here is the Floyd Henson Junior High School Marching Band. Notice there's no music there on their horns. 
Of course not. There you go. That just gets in the way. And what if yep. it's windy? Exactly. They need to memorize just, just that. Yep. That's right. Charles Carter and Son, Fairfield. Yeah, Carter, Carter Trucking, one of our fine sponsors. Yes, we appreciate that. We sure do. Still been a lot of people talking about the Clay County State Bank float from this afternoon. I don't know if they're going to be in this parade this <laughs> I evening. Hope they are not. I hope so. <laughs> Smooth riding truck here. Yes, indeed. Ooh, a bunch of candy. Yeah. Oh, it's loud. Didn't know it did that. I just talked about how smooth it was. <laughs> Wonder if that was for our purpose. It could be. we talked about uh, R&B this week is going to be part political mm -hmm. for our state representative candidates and Darren Bailey is next. Yes he is. Here comes his contingency. Bailey for state representative. You can go to baileyforillinois.com to get mm -hmm. all the information. Darren and Cindy both walking. They had their entire family out there today. I would think those little ones would be just a little bit tired. I would think that some of them may not even be in the parade tonight. What uh, do you think? Well, I'll tell you why. That, that one is tiny, tiny, just yep. a few weeks old, so. It's whole now, contingency. Now, I'd rather be driving the little car here. Yeah. <laughs> Whole contingency from Bailey here. That is uh, followed by the Republican vehicle driven by Norm Phillips again tonight. Trump, Pence, Shimkus, Browner, Dale Ryder, Bailey, Brenda Britton, and President. Judge Over Street, Jason Heelan. President Trump was in Illinois today. He was. Illinois. Yep. Down at Murfreesboro this afternoon. When's the last time you remember a sitting president being in Southern Illinois? Can't tell you. Uh, it's been a while. It has been a while. Well, we have a vehicle, but I can't tell you much about it. It's AC6. AC6. I, I see no <laughs> signs on it other than AC6. I'm looking for AC6, Brenda. I'm looking. Okay. I'm looking. I'm looking. Sean Mayberry's entry. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I think there's some uh, Halloween masqueraders inside mm, this vehicle. I think so. Karate, maybe? I think you're right. Look at those karate moves, throwing mm -hmm. that candy. Mm -hmm. Trying to see if I can. Jim Greenwood Karate. Oh, Karate USA, yeah. Here in Florida. He's done that for a good little while. He has. <laughs> on, trying guys. to get him to move along. Come on. He's walking. Just needs the rest of his group to go. Yep. They're going backwards. Getting some more candy. It's very good for children with a lot of energy. Learn how to control some mm -hmm. of that. That is true. Look at that little Spider-Man over there in his <laughs> outfit. <laughs> Karate outfit with a Spider-Man hat. Mm-hmm. Oh, here comes our Hawaiian music again, Randy. And the coconuts. <laughs> None other than the Burge House, I presume. I think this is the Burge House. Mike Burge, um, if you are not watching right now, you do have to watch this. You can YouTube it later if you want. But it would be worth it to see Mike Burge in 
uh, coconut bra. Yeah, yeah, it's that's that's worth something, all right. They're having a luau. Yes, they are. And they've had a location. They now have one here in Floor on uh, Worthy Street. Right. That's their newest one. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to forget any of them. It's assisted living. I know there's one also on uh, West 7th. 424 North Worthy. Having a big luau here. Having a great time. Oh, they've got the shirt. They've got the... Oh, he didn't have a shirt on no, under it. No, it's just a straight-up coconut bra. Oh, my. Got his... Got his uh, He's got his grass skirt, skirt on. on yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. He's got different coconuts on tonight. Yes, he They're does. White shells. Yes. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh, heads up. Uh, oh, they're musketeers. <laughs> oh, don't forget, don't lose this uh, little truck here in the. That's Gerald Kling. Oh, what a pretty truck. Indeed. Look at all these Milky Ways. Are they Milky Ways or Three Musketeers? You're getting me all confused. Oh, I'm sorry. They're Three Musketeers. Okay. I see one. Anyhow, Excuse that truck, me. older model Ford there that Gerald's driving, it is sharp. Just purring right along, following the Burge house. Well, I see Snoopy. This is the... Uh, it's the great. It's a great tire, tire Charlie, Charlie Brown. Brown. This is OK Automotive. Okay. Yes. Looking for the great tire in the pumpkin Aww, patch. Oh, how cute! <laughs> Look at all the tires in the pumpkin patch. I like it. Huge pumpkins the, and the tires. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at little Tweety Bird. Oh, my Woodstock. God. Woodstock. It's not Tweety. Oh, Woodstock. I'm this sorry. This is Charlie Brown. Well, I'll get it right. Oh, <laughs> uh, you got oh, a I rock. <laughs> That is Woodstock. Oh, <laughs> Josh, don't, don't drop that. Woodstock, June. Awesome. The great tire. <laughs> Still getting candy. Oh, there's candy everywhere. A lot of it squashed out there in the middle of the intersection. We have one of the floor apple queens, Kaylee Gould, one of the uh, little miss. Tiny miss. Tiny. Oh, oh, she's throwing kisses again. <laughs> How sweet. <laughs> with her earmuffs on. Yay. And she's waving with both hands. <laughs> what a doll. <laughs> oh. She's got that wave down. Mm -hmm. I don't like you Mike do the cars. Mike Ginty here. Ooh. Yep. Is this a new one for Mike? I don't know. Wait, what? It's what a is sharp it? one. What is it? Besides blue. Well, it looks like a Monte Carlo. Okay. If I'm not mistaken. And this next one. That is Bill Seelman. And it is a. That's a Nova. Oh. White. Yeah. Bill and Marilyn both in there. I don't have a name beside AC7, so I can't help you out. Well, there's a lot of lights on it. Mm -hmm. Followed by the North Clay bands. Well, I hate to say anything. Is this Scooby? Pizza? <laughs> we got a pizza? <laughs> from, who did we get this pizza? Anthony's. All right. There you go. Thank you, Anthony. Yep. Another one of our great advertisers. For a good pause. Oh, <laughs> cute. Scooby-Doo. Scooby's going to keep warming that yeah. outfit. 
Oh, I think I recognize the other one. That's I, Teddy. Yeah, that is Teddy, yes. But Teddy's having a good time. Yes. <laughs> Teddy's got the moves down. Maybe he's taught the the dogs mm -hmm, tricks there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, it looks delicious, but I don't think I can eat pizza on the air. <laughs> I could, but wouldn't be good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is uh, Power and Grace. Yes. With their purple cascading balloons. <laughs> okay. <laughs> did, did you Google that? No. There's still a name for that. Wow. That's a lot of purple balloons. Beautiful float, though. It is. Pulled by Floor Lumber Company. Is that Brian in there? That is. It is. And look, he's all lit up inside, he too. Is. There's just purple balloons everywhere. Have some that are walking along, dancing. Yep. Passing out candy. Joni's Power and Grace, good news. Pretty, pretty float. It is. It really is. How's that pizza? Delicious, huh? <laughs> no, it's, it's hard to eat pizza and talk at the same time. Unless Randy wants to take it for about five minutes. <laughs> Thank you to Anthony. Yeah. Anthony's might what be a hopping. You know, every Thursday night, yeah. they have a drawing up there uh, for uh, Clay County Industries, yes. and they do a Queen of Hearts drawing. Ooh, mushrooms and ham. Oh, man. Okay. And uh, it's open to the public. We did right. have, uh, Dodie usually puts a picture of it on our Facebook page, mm -hmm. and someone wanted to know where it was. It's at Anthony's Wild West Restaurant here in downtown Flora. And yes, it is open to the public. Anyone can come. And I believe you can come early and purchase tickets then. Mm -hmm. And I think they have quite a crowd every Thursday evening. They do. That. It's quite the event. And and the, it's a great fundraiser for Clay County Industries also. So that money goes to a wonderful cause. Yes. And you can win too. All of the state budget issues oh, that's trickled down and it has. makes organizations like that really have to get creative in how they fund themselves. That's what I was going to say. They become very creative and good for them. Yeah. And you can have some of Anthony's pizza while you're in there. Yeah. Or some of his other food. <laughs> yes, indeed. Hey, Anthony, this pizza went a long way for you here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> U.S. Bank, I believe that's Robin Brooks driving. That it is. The bank manager here, downtown Florida, just right to our left as we're sitting here in the middle of the intersection. Right. Got a little contingency walking behind her, throwing we out do. candy. By the way, the live link for this parade has been posted on to our uh, Facebook page. So go to WNOI's Mix FM Facebook page, and you can click on that link. Yep. Derek Bailey is walking tonight yes, instead he is. of driving. Here's Hometown Appliance Repair. That's right. And they do have local appliance repair available now. Yes, they do. Which is wonderful. Something Derek has added. And something that needs to be stressed is there's been a lot of uh, press about Sears and bankruptcy filings and all of that. That does not affect our Sears here in town. Derek owns that store. That's right. It has nothing to do with the hometown it, Sears. No, it's nothing just, at all. It's just the corporate Sears stores. That's right. And it has nothing to do with these hometown stores, which... Dairy Cones, we got a great store out there, and Flora should be proud of it. I'm just looking down. I need yeah, to look well, at the Yeah, don't queen do anything. Yes, yes, yes. Because we have Chloe Blackwell, and she is one of the app little Miss Apple Queen. And again, and that older model, cheap uh, pickup Jean truck. Beard. Yes. I remember when he drove that truck. Mm. 
Zenia. I'm guessing who this is. I can only guess. Oh, well, it's Zach sure Auto. <laughs> yeah. They're busting our butts. Okay, for it's you. busting our butts for you, is what the title of this float is. And uh, they're very well developed in both areas the busting and the butts. <laughs> yes, and they're dancing. Surely yep. we'll get a show right yeah, in front I would of think. us. I would think, yeah. You know, Troy has got his son up there. Yeah. No mercy. Yeah, no, oh. exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we Trying go. to get everybody calmed down this here now. This one needed to shave a little bit. Right. Everybody calm yeah. down. Exactly, yeah. I like yeah. their skirts. Yeah. And their knee socks. Oh, no. It is so big. Uh-oh, turn around to the back. Yeah. Who understands those guys? They only talk to her because she looks like a total prostitute. And I mean, it's just so sick. I can't believe it's so round. We're getting quite the show here. We are getting the show. And all we can see is their backside. If, 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 you're, watching it, if you're watching it, if you're watching it. Yeah, yeah. He's lit up. Yes. How do they come up <laughs> year after year after year. <laughs> Bright green and orange and oh, and these poor little dinosaurs are just walking around. <laughs> 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 I, they look like they're lost. <laughs> yeah, I think they are. I don't think these dinosaurs go with. No, I don't think these dinosaurs with go. the best of your best. Yeah. <laughs> Auto, Ferris, Bad Boy, Toro, Steel, Tires, Green Mountain Grills, and unfortunately the Marching Masqueraders behind just kind of got thrown in there. We have the Subway mascot there too. Mm -hmm. But I really think this little dinosaur walking is hilarious. <laughs> waddling, I would say. The dinosaur is waddling. And another one of the Apple Queens, the Junior Miss Apple Queen from Floor, is Tylee Cook. What a cool truck that is. Oh, she's walking. Yes, she is. Beautiful. She was in her truck. Oh, oh that's a gorgeous white gown and cape. She looks like Snow White. Mm -hmm. How pretty. Scouts. Yes, indeed. Got their tent here on the back and the trailer. It's all lit up around the campfire. Obviously out in the woods as they've got the tent set right in there in the trees. Girl Scouts camp too. Mm-hmm. And then we have our Miss Apple Queen, who is Lexi Payne. For Cargill. And a real small, 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 small semi. From Hancock's <laughs> Carriers. And the guy driving it, Jason. Yeah. That is cool. Now they're followed by the Richards family. Yes. Dad is there on his bike. Oh, the two little ones, the twins, have training wheels. Training wheels on their little bikes. Yes, All they do. right. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That is cool. All matching yep. with their gear. Taylor Auto Repair, road service, phone 6765701. Was that area code 618? Mm -hmm. We have a John Deere tractor, T1. I didn't have to have the paper for that. It's, uh, it's Bill Kitley. <laughs> if, if I'd have even looked up, that. I didn't even look you who it was. I'd like to look at that. It's Bill Kitley. <laughs> he has American flag in his John Deere tractor. Good grief. We had the drama club. Yes. They're all decked out as a deck of cards. 
use those cards later, about January. Mm. Yeah, you could. Crime Stoppers is having a fundraiser event in January. Gotta be hearing a lot about that. Johnny and June's, you can find the information. And we have an event done on the McSafford page. South Central High School Marching Band from Farina. Ooh, the flag's lit up. They're a costume. Mm -hmm. Flag routine in front of us with the lights. Oh, everything's got lights on it. Just let's have lights around them. Rub sticks are lit up. We have a Jason group playing drums. Even the chaperones walking are dressed up. Good for them. Sounding good here tonight. non-business entry and it says NB5 is Stevie Martin. Here comes Mike's body shop from Xenia. Ooh, pretty yellow Jeep. I like that color. Their candy. Oh, look at the big hat on the front of it. Mm -hmm. All red, white, and blue. Mm -hmm. Mike's Body Shop, used cars and senior. Here's the new 2018 Miss Louisville Fall Festival Queen, Keisha Allen. Just crowned earlier this afternoon. And we hope to have those results for you by Monday morning. I don't make promises you can't keep. We hope we to hope. have them by Monday morning, I said. <laughs> we will have them as soon as we can get them. How's that? There we go. Junior Miss Queen, Elena Zazuski. Also just crowned earlier today at Louisville. I 
I bet they're missing that son that we had this afternoon. I was going to say, Keisha looks cold. <laughs> She's she, brave girl. Yes, she is. Very brave. Yeah. Yeah. Because I have on a coat and a blanket and gloves. And Bank corner up here right now says 51. Feels a little cooler. Floor Gardens Care Center, proudly serving our community for over 50 years. And we've got the old 50s sock hop going on up here. We do. Are they still dancing? To honor the 50s. They are, but not quite as energetically as they were this oh, afternoon. Oh, we're getting ready to. Yeah, the judges stand's coming here, so here we go. They're gonna turn some balloons loose, it looks like. Here we go. Oh. oh that's cool. Got some balloons floating out. Again, they got the sock hop going. Now they got the dancing going. Oh, we've got balloons everywhere. Yes. They're in the truck, in the float. Nice. Oh, look at the vinyl records hanging. Yes. Laura Gardens Care Center, serving our community for over 50 years. Oh, some I residents see some in there too. Yeah, do have some residents inside waving. Glad they could get out this evening and enjoy the parade. Mm -hmm. Winter Road, 2018, Little Miss Louisville Fall Festival Queen. Congratulations. Setting Cutty Corner from her mom's store, two glitzy mm. girls here in downtown Flora. That's an older model Camaro convertible. That's a sharp car, too. It is. is Little Miss Fall Festival, first runner-up. Cammy's in the back of the uh, pickup. Pretty black one. Mm -hmm. Second runner-up. Louisville Fall Harvest Festival Little Miss is, can you read it? Leah Kush Kushkin? Rushkin, yeah. Kushkin, well, sorry. Hard, yeah. The light was shining on mm -hmm. it. This is a North Wayne band. Oh, they just stopped. Maybe they were sounding play good. They'll play again. Sounding real good. Got their drums all lit up too. I like these lights all lit up. On the Incredibles. I think those Incredibles belong to Coach Tackett. I think they're probably right. I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah. Oh, I like the orange hair. Mm. Spiked up. <laughs> Operation Christmas Child. We had Cheryl Billy on with us. Um, this week, along with Vicki Simpson. The Assembly of God is the drop-off point mm -hmm. for Operation Christmas Child. And if you want to contribute, you can go to Country Closet, pay 50 cents, and get a box, and all the directions are inside. Yeah, it's a great, great, great it certainly is. organization. Floor Assembly of God. Says Jesus loves the little children of the world. If you go out and fill out a shoebox, fill it up, you can actually trace where your shoebox goes and you you'll know can. what village it goes to. That's amazing. It is amazing. Their goal is a thousand this yes. year. Oh, look, there's a camel. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> oh, it's not too sure about that camel. No, don't blame him. Don't blame him. 
<laughs> Need a lift? RWCI Equipment Sales and Rentals in Industrial Park, Florida. And they have a lift and... A lift. What is the other <laughs> one on there? A big skid loader? Yeah, it looks like it. That's some big equipment right there. Yes, it is. But you can actually go out there, rent it, they'll bring it to you. And come and pick it up. Not everyone has this piece of equipment sitting around. No. So if you're in need of one. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to hunt for better health service. Got the big deer camp set up here. Ooh. Yeah. Got some hunters there. We got all kinds of animals on there. Deer. That's the Clay County Health Department. Talking about their homemaker services, immunizations, hospice, teen reach, environmental health, home health, animal control. They've got it all, Wick. They do. You know, our health department, you take it for granted. You do. Every, not every county has it. Every county has one. They do not, nope. especially not like ours. No. Nope. That offer all the services. Kudos to the staff over there. Very, very fortunate. And they're good neighbors, too. They are very good neighbors. <laughs> Something coming into view here. I think this is the public transit. Oh, the Central Illinois. Illinois Public Transit? Yes. That's a great service as well. It is. Um, you can call them and arrange for a pickup. Mm -hmm. They come down here Monday through Friday, I believe. I believe so. All, all decorated for Halloween. That they are. Complete with spider webs. Yep. Eyes. Light it up eyes. Yeah. 855 cipt for Central Illinois Public Transit. Very nice. We have a witch with an empty bucket. I think she's trying to catch up to get some more candy to fill up. <laughs> Clay County Cancer Crusaders and the Clay County Support Group. Boy, do they do a wonderful, wonderful service for mm -hmm. our county. Both of them. Both of them do, and they help anyone with cancer, their medical needs. They help one, helps with the wigs, and uh, they give money for gas. They're just a great, great support group. They have they a beautiful float course with the uh, cancer emblem there on. And this is like a bunch of the survivors. survivors cancer survivors going by right now. And That's kudos awesome. to them. Indeed. Yeah. Yep. Gorgeous float with a rainbow of colors. And of course, those all yep. represent the different cancers that there are. If you've seen some of those around town, all different colors. Every color represents a different type of cancer. Living proof. Yep. Trinity Health and Wellness from Louisville. As you mentioned today, these ladies are really getting after it. They are. The three ladies started this clinic um, just a few months ago and opened, and they have expanded their services. 618-665-7000. You can go to trinityhealthandwellness.net. Hi, Chris. How are you? I'm good. Chris Thompson here. How's the parade going? Great. It looks very good. You've got a huge parade this evening. That's great. 115 injuries or so. Awesome. We got just a little bit of a lull. I'm not quite sure what they're doing. But well, we got some marching masqueraders here. I guess yeah. these are still with Trinity. This is Carrie. Trying to round up her boys, I think. Carrie Nussmeyer, and I think her husband is behind, so they're all yeah, kind of there together. Yeah, all kind together. of together, yeah. Well, one's driving a little uh, John Deere. Yeah. Oh, is he cute? He needs to watch where he's going. He's drifting off. Yeah, Carrie, he's not watching there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he's picked up 
some <laughs> tissue or something yeah. on his wheel. Okay. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Hey, it's a big crowd. Yeah, uh-oh. There well, he goes. There he's got it. Whoops. whoops. Got it stalled. Now, there he's going. Yep. <laughs> he's looking around more than he's watching where he's going. Well, you know, you got a captive audience. Exactly. And I think their sweatshirts are kind of like Dad's, which yep. is falling, which is Nussmeyer Tree Service. Right. And, uh, oh, okay. Now, this is pretty cool. Look how they got their handouts. Mm-hmm. They got them in the bucket. In the bucket of the truck, or the tractor, yeah. Exactly. You see these guys everywhere cutting down trees, and they've got the equipment to get up in the air and get the big ones down. There are only so many that can cut the huge trees. Right. And us Myers are, are one of them that can. And if you go to their Facebook page, I know they do have some videos on there that uh, you can actually watch and see. Yep. How they do it, and it is amazing. But yeah, they just thrown everything in the bucket of their tractor there. Yep, that's the way to do it. You bet. Got one of their big uh, trucks there with their crane on it. Daniel's, oh, Daniel had a whole handful there. He just threw it. <laughs> <laughs> Nussmeyer Tree Service, 618-676-1400, big or small, we do them all. And like we said, they've got the equipment to do it. Closet. closet. Yep. Chop your way to the country closet. How cute is that? Another one of the cascading balloons. They have Randy. cascading balloons in red and black. The Lit up Christmas tree there in the middle. Oh, it's a country sink. Country, I'll tell you what, yep. this store is so busy. They're located out in the shopping center. They have one, it's the most organized place I think I've ever seen. It's yep. massive. Their inventory turns over constantly. And probably most of the stuff on there you can purchase in the country mm -hmm. closet. So go frequently because it changes all the time. I'm going to go out on a limb here. I think this is dazzling. I would say you'd be correct. Come chill with us and they're all snowmen. How cute is this? Indeed. And they're all dressed in their tutus as snowmen, dazzle, dance, and tumble. And they've got snow and an igloo, a tree, all on their float. Oh, and we're throwing snow. <laughs> okay, we're going to get a show. Dance routine going on here in front of us. I like all the moms that stoop down in front of us with their cell phones videoing. Yeah. Oh, good <laughs> job. What a cute float. They're still throwing snow around. They're going to be covered with snow. They are. Everybody's going to be covered with snow. I'm not sure what they've used in there, but lot of it. There's snow no place like Basil. So, cute, <laughs> cute, cute. There's snow in the street now. Effingham Academy of Cosmetology have their Chi products and big blow-ups. I love those huge scissors. And that, of course, is located right before you get to the mall there on the south side in Effingham. even spraying the cheap products there on her hair fixing I that. think I can smell it. Probably. Yes, you can. <laughs> First Baptist Church here in Flora. A flow with a 
finishing well in a rainbow. It says when the storms of life are unbearable, we know a guy. <laughs> that's yeah. good. Got the arc on there. Arc, that's yeah. it. And of course the rainbow with a promise. Right. Well, looky here. Indeed. <laughs> First Baptist Church youth group. That's uh, that's neat. That is neat. Followed by Wabash Baptist Church. are located in Louisville. Right. Got a little hay right float going beautiful, on. Beautiful mums on this float sitting on some bales of straw. People walking along handing out candy. How many pounds of candy oh, I don't goes know. through these parades? A lot. Four odd fellows lot, 151. You know, when you talk about the, the candy and the parades, I still go back to former Representative Chuck Hart Keeney's golf cart and Tootsie Rolls. Tootsie Rolls, yes. Boy, if we, oh. if, I wonder how many pounds of Tootsie Rolls he purchased in his lifetime. Rich Herring is trying to get us a piece of candy. <laughs> Over. Not even close. <laughs> Not even close. going to have to be heavy. Yeah. Uh, they do a great, great service. They do. They do. Run out there and pick all that up, Chris. <laughs> you need one of those little things, you know, that, that you hold and you clamp and they pinch. Yep, yep. I don't know what they're yep. called, but. Thank you. Wow. Oh, thank you. A musketeer. Oh, there's another one down there. Yep. Thank you. You know, after the Louisville parade, I uh, thought I was hungry. And I stuffed half that candy in my mouth. Yeah. That made me sick. <laughs> <laughs> I should have quit. Uh-huh. <laughs> Lighting the way, NAL, to a safer tomorrow. It's like a little yeah. Darth Vader there, maybe, yeah. with their sabers. But that's not Darth Vader, is it? I don't think I so. I don't think so. But they are lit up. Yep. Oh, it is on the back of the float, though. Look. Mm -hmm. Dooney's yeah, that's dark back there. Dooney's moves with his saber. May the lighting be with you. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. Oh, there's Princess Leia over there. Running along. <laughs> How is that candy? Pretty good. Not pretty good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, these are the bite sized ones. We can eat these while we're on air, huh? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, hit my mic. I forgot my mic was right there. Okay. And we have some more floats coming here. This is Wabash Communications. Stick with Wabash, and they have sort of an old antique wagon on there, the cacti. Mm -hmm. It's a Western theme. But every one of their services is very modern. Phone, video, internet, and they have expanded and are still expanding. Mm -hmm. you see their, cur their skirt around their float? It looks like bandanas. It does. I didn't, I didn't notice that this afternoon, yes. but it does, yeah. Dean's Ag and Heavy Equipment Repair in Louisville. Oh, look at the little tractor there on the float. Okay. They about repair it all. I think they're trying to bribe the judges, giving them candy. 
ag and heavy equipment repair. 618-267-9609. Balloons are big this year. Evidently. We have some more cascading ones here. We've never had that good of luck with balloons, have we? No, we have not. I swear we'd never use balloons again. They just all tangled up. We need some lessons. Well, from whoever done this. Wow. Floor rehab and health care. And it is a cascade of balloons with an, on an archway, all different colors. Are we in Booville? Not sure. Keep thinking something's going to happen here. They're, they're kind of hugging. They're all looking and waving. Yep, and dancing. right in front of us. I wonder if they know we're not the judges. <laughs> yeah. Like the guy in the dreadlocks back there. Yeah. <laughs> They worked on this dance routine a little they bit. They have worked. Yeah. A little choreography there. Yeah. Uh, we're getting ready to have some more excitement, I believe. That's what I keep thinking. I, I think see something this. else is going to happen. Yeah. I like the tree in the middle. Oops. I don't know what he's trying to shoot. He's trying to shoot some glitter, I think. I think he might need to reload. <laughs> What does it say there? They're trolls, trolling for success. Trolling there for we success. go. I knew it would come together oh, when we saw okay. the thing. Trolling for success. They need to tell us before and after. <laughs> That's neat. They are trolls. We have post home improvement and lawn care. Oh, how cute is this? Look at the grass they've got the grass growing they got up. growing. they got the guy back here mowing it. And, and then you got the little construction it. guy here working on it. Got the tool belt on, the hard hat on. We're, we are ready to take on your scary projects, it says. Oh, I love the grass. <laughs> How do you do? It's probably two foot tall. Yeah, yeah. And we're working away in the construction. Home Improvement Lawn Care in Flora. <laughs> Cash Equipment Sales and Rentals from, from Effingham. Looks like they have some Kubota equipment on here. Kubota. And a Bobcat. And keeps those just sitting around no, in the yard. No. And if you need one for a special project, you can rent them. Cash sales and rentals in uh, Effingham. Clay County. County Hospital. Compassionate care for the ones you love. And they show a lot of the different services that they offer. The health care providers are on the back. Actually giving, looks like some IV They got some treatment. IV stuff going they in there, do. yeah. I don't know about that. Uh, we got got a little therapy going there, too. Uh -huh. Riding the bike. I can't say enough good about their therapy department. I used it for a couple of months, and uh, there's some of the therapists right there behind. Excellent.
think we're reloading candy. I think we are, too. You don't want to run out of candy because people yell at you. <laughs> <laughs> you really don't. If you have to pass it out one piece at a time, don't run out of candy. Mm-hmm. This one also says caring for community. Oh, more balloons. Red, white, and blue. Yes. This is a Flora Savings Bank. Big lit up American flag. Oh, I like that. I like that. That's pretty. Got some Lincoln coins back there. Yeah. We do. Hi, Angela. And they're merging. They are. Oh, oh. confetti. Oh, Shannon and love that. <laughs> Shannon Hosick. Wow. Is that Red, white, cool? and blue confetti. Wow. And yes, Flora Savings Bank is joining with Marion. They are. Uh, savings Bank. What a way to announce it. Yes. How cool. And they have some of their Marion personnel there walking. Mm-hmm. And the confetti's still floating. It, that was a bunch of confetti that it came out of there. It was. Oh, that's cute. The kids are trying to catch it. What a beautiful float. Red Brush Christian Church. And they have two people on their hayride float here. The rest of them's all They're walking. walking. They got big contingent. Oh. Well, we got Snickers there somewhere. All right. And here come the horses. And the mules. And again, I've had my lesson, but can't tell you. I can tell you they're lit up. Oh, they are lit up. Got a red cage, looks like a Red Riding Hood. Mm. <laughs> and an Indian on that one. What like that? Oh. That one wasn't cooperating, was uh, it? He's back under. There we back go. Back under control now. Oh. All right. Well, with that, we're going to uh, conclude this evening's broadcast. And again, if you missed it, you can uh, always go to YouTube and uh, search Wabatch Catch TV. It'll be there. You can watch it. And uh, we hope that uh, you've enjoyed our broadcast here tonight. That's going to do it for our uh, coverage of this year's parade and don't forget the radiothon coming up thursday night we'll have That's that right. for you live here on mix fm have a great weekend